Today we are going to be luging down the mountain in the Rotorua. This morning, the weather is finally on our side in Rotorua, so we are heading up the gondola. So we are finally making it up the gondola. That is the actual third time that we're making it up the gondola. One time was doing crankworks. We went with a sneaky luge, but this time we're going to do much more than one sneaky luge. Advanced track. Advanced, advanced track, here we come. The Skyline Gondola is taking us up the slopes of now bear with me guys, Mount Nongotaha and the little capsules that we're in have little open sections of the windows so we can get some uninterrupted views. There's so many activities to do at the top of the gondola but the first thing that we're going to be checking out is the views and then we're going to check out the zoom zip lines. The man just called me fat. Our zip lining guide Sean is going through all the different gear we're going to be wearing for the zip line, putting the harnesses on and giving us a bit of a briefing. And you can see that just like this lady here. <laughs> and you're going to go down our 400 meter long zip line, it's up to 35 meters high, and you reach somewhere between 70 and 80 k's, alright? Sound good? Once a very quick briefing is done, we are now making our way toward the zip line pad. It is in front of an amazing view of Rotorua and the beautiful lake and island right on the background. The zip line is going to take us 383 meters down the slope. It's absolutely epic and it's going to be super fast. As soon as Sean pulls on the trigger, we start getting some speed. At first, it's kind of a slow, mellow pass through, but as soon as we arrive near the tree, the sensation of speed is demultiplied and it feels like we are literally flying through this awesome forest. Around the end of the zip line, there is a massive smash which actually slows our speed and then the team is helping us unhook from our harnesses. From there, it's a long way down the trees. But apparently we learned afterward that we could have jumped from the tree to make it down even faster. That's one option that you can pick. Anyway, speaking of options, there is heaps of entertaining options at the top of Skyline. And the next one that we're going to be taking is the Luge. It is world famous and if you guys recall, we did that in Queenstown a few months ago. Check out the card up there for this video too. But word on the street is that the Rotorua Luge is longer, steeper and has more tracks than Queenstown. So we are stoked to get going with this awesome activity. But before you take on any of those other tracks, you need to do the scenic lane first. And this is the one that you pretty much practice on to get used to these carts. And luging is kind of a mix of go-karting and tobogganing, where you basically sit in these go-kart-like carts and let gravity do its thing. The way these carts work is with the handlebars. You use the handlebars to steer around the corners and things, but you also pull back the handlebars to brake, to slow down your speed and release them to get some more speed. And that's pretty much what we want to do. We want to get some more speed. So we want to get to the end of the scenic track as quickly as possible so we can start moving on to that advanced track that we've heard so much about. Nevertheless, the scenic track still puts you through your paces with lots of twists and turns to manoeuvre around, even a fun little tunnel at the end. And it's really awesome actually luging through this redwood forest. There's a mix of native trees in there as well. It's super awesome. It's only around the end of the scenic track that I actually realized that this little refresher was very much welcome. Doing the luge is actually very unnatural. The movement that you have to go to, through to actually be able to manage your speed are very different than anything else that you can ride. So it was very much welcome as we are about to tackle the most epic luge track in New Zealand. Seriously, we've heard so much about the luging in Rotorua. We've heard that it's super fast and that it puts you definitely through your paces. And it starts with some couple of sharp turns before starting to get us a lot of speed. It doesn't look super fast on the camera right now, but I'm telling you, when you are that close to the ground, the sensation of speed is absolutely insane. But to be quite honest, it actually only depends on you. You decide of your speed. So Laura and I decide to go absolutely nuts on the luge. But if you actually feel like you want something a little bit slower, it's definitely up to you. Just pull on the handle and actually control your speed much more than what we're doing. But we're here to play Mario Kart in real life. So hell no, it's full speed ahead. 
The thing that definitely gives us the most speed is some really steep slope which are actually quite short and if you actually release the handlebar as hard as you can to make sure you have as much speed as you can, you actually get super fast at the end of this thing. It was really cool and it was really an absolutely action packed run and as soon as we finish Laura and I just want to do one thing, it's going again. Well Robin, that's why they say at the luge that once is never enough, but it's actually closing time that makes us go back down the gondola, back into Rotorua where tomorrow we have more awesome activities ahead. We're going to be seeing a real life kiwi chick at Rainbow Springs, so make sure to join us then and subscribe for more awesome episodes. There's all sorts of bumps and lumps along the way. There's even a part of the track where it splits off into two and you have to decide which way to go. So many choices, so many decisions, just not enough time to make them on the luge. Everything's going so fast.